things going for you out there? Good, everything's good. Um, spring ball's going well, so everyone's back from spring break. So uh, everything's great right now. For a guy like you, you know, obviously coming off a really big year, you know, what's what, what's spring like? You know, you, a lot of guys talking about, you know, it's getting better everywhere, but where, you know, where do you focus? Um, I think it's, uh, spring's really about just getting better fundamentally, I think, and kind of going back to the basics of the offense. Um, I think, you know, it's kind of about just knowing everything about the play so that we can go from there. How did you handle, you know, more and more, you know, get, getting, you know, plenty of, plenty of attention your way, but still being able to be productive last year? <clears throat> Yeah, I think it was just kind of the offensive scheme we had, and um, it just goes along with, you know, kind of our wide receiver room. Um, you know, we want to produce, and, and we want to stick to our three keys. How was last season on you physically? You're not the biggest guy in the world, and you had some season or some games with tons of catches and took some big hits. How did you feel after the season? Um, sore, but I think everyone does. So, you know, you always have those bumps and bruises, but, you know, I was fine. It was good. For you personally, where do you want to improve most? Where do you want to take your game to the next level? I think I want to improve most on my speed, uh, downfield speed, and um, just kind of my route endings. You mentioned the speed aspect. You know, Coach Harson kind of did talk a little bit about you know wanting to v de develop a little bit more of that. And, and you know, Brett's talked about you know wanting to improve his deep ball accuracy. How much is that sort of thing here in the spring being a focus? Just that deep work. Yeah, I think it's we're just you know trying to hit our shots and get our timing on and. And, you know, especially some of the new guys and the younger guys, and I think it's uh, going well. How are those guys developing? I mean, obviously you and Chaz have played a lot, but, you know, behind you guys, you know, th there's some young guys who have some talent, but maybe who haven't played a ton. You know, you don't see a huge drop-off, honestly, and those young guys are picking up the offense really well, and, um, you know, they're fitting in perfectly. So there's not a big drop-off between the ones and the twos and the threes. Is there a difference between the way the quarterbacks throw the ball or is catching a ball catching a ball? Catching the ball is just catching the ball to us. Uh, we don't really see a difference, honestly. The ball's going to be there. We just got to run around it. Who specifically out of those younger guys, like a killing and AJ, anyone standing out to you? Actually, Achillian and AJ are both standing out, so they're both doing a good job and, um, you know, catching some pretty difficult passes, so it, they look good. What, How what is it to have Finley and Ruben <clears throat> both out there throwing balls to you? It's great. Um, just like I said before, you know, there's not a big drop off between the one and the two, even at quarterback, and, you know, especially for us wide receivers, all we have to do is run around and balls over there, so just got to catch it. What does AJ bring to the table for you guys? You know, I know he you know, talking to him. He says he's not the fastest guy in the world, but you know his hands are, are solid. But you know, it seemed like last year he got more and more comfortable when he's out there. Yeah, he definitely did. And you know, he brings to the table just a lot of consistency. You know exactly what you're going to get. He's going to catch the ball every time. So he's got probably the best hand on the team. With I have a feeling if I ask about the stats, we're going to get something along the lines of. You, you don't really look at those, but is there ever a course during the game, like, do you keep track of, like, oh, that's six catches I think I have now, or do you ever look at the stat sheet and say, like, I did not realize I had this many stats? Uh, no, I don't really keep track. And, you know, I don't think a lot of people do, especially during a game. Um, you don't really think about that. It's more of a game. So maybe after someone will tell you, but that's probably it. Uh, what, what about after the season, though? Do you <clears throat> go back and look at them and be like, oh, I had 18 in that game? Yeah, definitely go back and look at them. And, uh, you know, you got to look up all your cut-ups just to see what you did wrong and what you could do differently and improve on the next year. So, I think for a lot of people that don't play the game, they, they look at the numbers as judging if someone improved or not. What Actually playing it, what do you view as an improvement? You know, what was an improvement from 2014 to 2015 and what are you looking for in 2016? Yeah, I think I don't, I don't really look at the numbers as, you know, how – productive you were or how good of a season you had. I don't think a lot of us do. So I think we look at more of the team aspect, how many wins we had, um, you know, what games could we have won, and stuff like that. Do you think that this year you might gather a little more attention from the defenses and uh, open up things for the other receivers? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Uh, I guess it all just depends on um, you know, how we show up and if we show out. So. With uh, you, you mentioned you know, you got you look at guys like AJ, but then you have Achillean Butler, who's obviously a really speedy guy. Cedric Wilson's a bigger guy. It seems like you know, the, with, along with depth, there's a lot of different kind of options that you can trot out there. There's different kind of looks that you guys can give. How much do you notice that, and how much of a weapon could that be? Yeah, it definitely throws the defense off, um, especially our different personnel stuff. So you know, heavy sets, and then we'll go to you know three receiver stuff so it's definitely hard for the defense to keep up sometimes how has cedric wilson fit in you know what, what, what is what have you noticed out of him he's doing great um it's hard you know we have such a complex offense so 
everything that's being thrown at him, he's, he's, he's doing a good job, you know, digesting it all and, and you know, figuring everything out. Third, three offensive coordinators since you've been here, right? You've been for all three. What's it like this year? Is it different? Is it a little bit different with having Harson call the plays? You've noticed anything out there? Uh, no, it's not really different. I, I mean, most of the time I've been here, it's been the same basic stuff. So um, we just kind of build off that, off our <clears throat> foundation. So that's what we're putting in right now, too, in spring.